So hello guys, I am The Alchemist, and in today's video, and in today's video, I thought I would play Legend of Korra only using firebending. Now what's interesting about firebending, guys, is that you can indeed break the game, and I'm going to show you exactly why in a second. If everything's maxed out and stuff, it's very easy to break this game. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we go. The first level of the- the first actual level of the game, I should say. This is right after all of her bending's taken away. Alrighty, fire bending only. Here we go. Maybe Tenzin can help me figure out what's going on. Hold it, Avatar. <laughs> now this is the main villain of the game right here. Oh, fire bending. I mean, it's not really even a game. <laughs> Mom's gone. Why are the chi blockers still here? Old guy must be calling the shots. Now I should mention, guys, in my all combos video that I made about a couple about a year ago. That video I didn't showcase. If you guys want to see that real fast, I'll show you. Right here. This is actually where I recorded the whole thing. Was this little stretch of. Uh, level right here. Now, I do want to show you guys that each each uh, <laughs> each element does have its kind of special move. It's not really special though, and it's not really that interesting, but I do want to still show you guys. So for fire, obviously, you know, it's this. But if you go to air and you do that, you get on this. On a little air ball that she travels around in. You can get off of it. Water bending, it's a little. She actually attacks with her legs. If you guys just saw that, it's hard to see. I'll slow it down for you guys. Interesting. It's essentially a way of blocking. You know what I mean? Puts up a little barrier. Now, why they couldn't do the animation, I don't know why. I've heard doing actually blocking instead of doing a little flip. That's just me. So there you go, that was the uh, little things I didn't show you guys, and that was partly due because they weren't any combos, so. That's just a little quick thing. But anyways, back to the game, back to fire bending. That's yeah, like the most OP move you can ever use. Now I'll show you guys in the next level <laughs> why firebending can literally break this game. Now there is a little item over there. I'll show you guys that in another video. This is, by the way, guys, I am playing on expert mode, and only on expert mode does this this guy appear here. This isn't how the game is normally. And see, and each, you know, like I said before, each element does have their own little unique ability. Like, if I hold Y, that's, does that attack. If I do air, it's the spin attack. If I do Y on here, it's the heavy attack. Or it's the same thing, it's a little ground kick. They each have their heavy, their heavy set, and this is gonna trigger a little bit of a extra fight for you, but that's just to show you that Firebending really is one of the funnest elements to use in this game. Okay, which way to Air Temple Island? I'll show you guys some secrets if you want to know. And then 
Obviously, because it's uh, bright red, but he's fire bending to open it. Imiyasaki's, or, um... I can't, it sounds like Suki, but it's not. It's the character in Legend of Korra, it's the female. Yeah, fire bending is... super fun to use when you, for crowd control. Now, if for those of you guys that have seen my all parries video, I do showcase what it looks like when you do parry those enemies. But just to let you guys know, and I'm since I'm playing on extreme mode, those enemies normally do not appear if I'm if I remember right. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. But uh, there you go, me breaking everything. Now you want to collect these little blue orbs. You see in the top right how it says. It says 5 million. Oh, yeah, so... When you do stuff like that... Wait. Me fighting the final boss, but because uh, YouTube is so strict with music and pretty much everything in between, I couldn't really show you it because it got copyrighted due to the whole, the whole battle music getting uh, copyrighted. So, I will show you guys that battle down the road, just not with the same music, or maybe just a little bit lower. See if I can get a get away with it. Now you get you guys see me use this parry a lot, but it's kind of the best way to defeat these guys, as fire bending will get you killed right away. Yeah, I just want to parry them. Do X. God, I love the way this game looks. Actually, I got me. But yeah, firebending is a cool little. Uh, no. <laughs> My goodness, you can't die here. There are too many. Naga, where are you, girl? I need your help. <laughs> yeah, firebending is hard when there's just a swarm of them. Uh, if you guys want to see the cutscenes, I'll show them to you, but they're pretty basic animation. Naga, good girl. Now, this section of the game is called Naga Running. Which, don't get me wrong, is interesting, but... If you guys, I'll show you guys the first time, and then I won't show you after that. How about that? Because it's kind of repetitive. Although it is a good way to get these little spirits that you can then use to purchase items with Iroh, who's in the spirit shop, ironically. Not really ironically, but the fact that he's even in this game at all is kind of interesting, is kind of cool. Although, I, I miss Iroh from Last Airbender. I think Iroh in Legend of Korra is past his time, you know? It's, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when I watch Legend of Korra, the what I felt is that they kind of wanted to stray away from the Lost Airbender of characters and create new things, which is never a bad thing. Which is never a bad thing, but I always felt that there was something missing from Legend of Korra, you know? Like, I felt when, at the end of Book 2, when Korra loses her past lives or it gets severed because Raba dies, I think that was a bad decision by the writers because that was one of the coolest things I always felt about the Avatar was that it can contact with its past lives and you know it was like a reincarnation cycle. Like you know what cool it would have been to, in book three for her, t all the advice she could have gotten from Aang and Roku and even, um, what's her name, Kyoshi, Kyoshi was, oh my god. It's hard to talk and play, guys. This isn't over yet. She's one of my favorite avatars. I also think that in the show, I think if maybe if the bending was a little kind of outstretched, you know, but I feel like some of the <laughs> scenarios were kind of unrealistic. But that's just me. I 
feel like Cora never really learns anything as well. That's another big issue I have with the show. Here. Because, yeah, in extreme mode, that guy with the saint does not show up. Oh. Get out of here. Yeah, when you first fight that guy, it's super annoying. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. But when everything's maxed out, it's that's really when you can enjoy this game. And that's always a good thing to do when you get a prompt to do it, because like, you don't want that to happen right there. With, does this get? Oh my god! Get out of here! Okay, yeah, you're blocking me with your back behind me. That's totally what happened. I don't even bother parrying these attacks as they won't hit them. Because they'll just bounce off each other. There's where you fight the fire guy for the first time. Actually, not. <laughs> yeah, you always want to hit that guy with that because he's super annoying. I think about this guy is annoying. And see, he can do it too. Yeah, kill these guys first. Okay. So here's what's funny, normally you can never get up here no matter what types of jumps you do, but because of firebending, it likes to lock on to enemies. As you'll see, I can warp myself up here. Yeah, you can try. I've gone up there once. That's it. I didn't get him. Okay. <laughs> I hate the blocking in this game. And this is the first time you fight them all three at the same time. Which is not easy at all. And I hope you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but you'll encounter this boss a lot. Oh shit, I almost missed my mark. There we go. It's almost like you want him to pair you. There we go, I got him out of the way. It's a good way of hearing everybody. Let's get everyone out of here. Just keep attacking, even though they're blocking you. Ugh. I really hate the noise that that guy makes. Ugh, every time I want to do a big hit on him, he dodges. It's almost like they're programmed to. But yeah, that was the third level. Just using firebending. I always like this cutscene. And don't come back. As that is the essence of Korra. My bending back. Where's the old man? Nobody knows. <laughs> Not I hope you guys know I've never had seen this parry before in my entire life until I made that parry video. And that is how I discovered it. But the reason why I don't parry a lot is because firebending on individual enemies is pretty good. What is over here? Is 
there a platform there? F. And because you can uh, run button, and because you can essentially fly using fire bending. What's up here? Okay. I don't know if I've ever gotten this chest. I might get it. Not if you guys just saw that, but that's what I mean by breaking the game. You can literally warp to the next section. I see. Here, I'll show you guys something insane. You guys want to see me get to that enemy from all the way over here? I probably can do it. Alright, right here. See if we can do it. No, nope, didn't hit the ground yet. Oh, I don't know, guys. You want to count that? Would you, would you guys say I hit the ground, or do you think I... I think I did it before. We'll let Cora decide. Oh, B, that's right. Oh, come on. Just to ruin everything for me. Now, guys, I do know that blue wall was there. Trust me. I just... I'll do that one on... I'll show you guys that on my water bending playthrough. Again, doing combos is always... Our pairing is always a cool... And see, when I did, I don't know if you guys remember, but in my earthbending playthrough, I couldn't do that because, again, it'd be, I mean, that's normally the, what I would do in that situation, is use firebending. That's the one you don't aim, that's what happens. You'll just go after a random enemy. A lot of the times it doesn't matter though. But, you know. You like to think that it would. There we go. And again, I don't even really need to do that. I could just warp over to him. Same thing with this little lodge here. Do it without touching the ground. He gets me with the last combo. <laughs> oh, and this takes so long. What the? Is he like an invincible person? He's like, okay, there we go. I wasn't locking onto him. But yeah, anyways, you get up here and the chest. But again, I don't even need to touch the ground to get back. But I will show you guys how to do all this. What the hell? They all came back. That's weird. Alrighty, Firebend, my favorite. That's what I mean by breaking the game, because normally you don't have fire many at all during this, this part. I didn't even see him. What is this guy? What, when did he appear? Hang on. Let me heal a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh no, he is here. I was like, where'd he go? There we go. Okay. <laughs> AI is so broken in this game. Because a lot of the bosses will just sometimes run into walls. We do a block. 
You'll find out that it's it's common in a lot of video games. It's a way of making it harder. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I literally warped to the enemy. That's what firebending does in this game. It allows you to essentially break the game. As I've said over and over in this video, but I, j I actually mean it. I was hiding from there. Again, just get him out. And it's better to do that because then you can just have a little fun with them. Wow, there are automobiles all over the place. Great to see the city on its way to recovery. I don't know if you guys just saw what I was talking about by how. <laughs> Like, I should have easily fallen off the cliff and died, but because firebending, it's almost like it's a magnet for wherever enemy there is. Shit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to be able to see you guys. There you go. I really think this is, like, the only way to do this. Like... Oh, it's just him. Ah, too early. There we go. Mini boss of the game? Technically. That's why his entrance is so grand, but because I'm playing on Expert, you actually encounter him earlier. Like, I remember the first time that happened. Now guys, normally what I do in these videos is I actually take a long time to kill him. But I'm not going to now, I'm actually just going to hammer him away. Sorry about that guys. That was cheating. The last one is so annoying. How are you not dead yet? There we go. And again, that's the little uh, animation I showed you. With the mecha tanks as well. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die, dude. All right, guys, so the little uh, comb on the right, as you see on the where it shows the D-pad and then it shows to the right, that little icon right there, that's what allows me to regenerate health. You need to buy that in the shop, so that's another thing I do recommend you have. Where did you get a mecha tank? Does Asami know about this? Oh, that's her name, Asami. I made a reference to her earlier in the video. Anyways, there is an earthbending chest there, which I showed you guys earlier in the, my earthbending only video. Anyways, again, warping to enemies. Oh my god, get out of here. It's ridiculous. Now, I also have an ability that makes it where my chi is fully charged. I should show you guys that, so let me kill these guys. Oh my god, what? Okay, so when you want to do a more heavy attack, this is what will happen before you have... You're not, you Normally, you're not always going to be glowing orange like this. It's because I have the item that's actually on the bottom, on the bottom. And what that item does is it basically allows it where my chi is fully charged. Now you see how there's those three bars where, under, where it shows fire bending, and then there's the three orange bars that are lit up? When you hold it, you do a more powerful attack. So my attacks are more powerful. Because my chi is only always charged, I'm always doing that amount of damage. 
So I'm doing twice the amount of damage I normally would be if I wasn't. So that's kind of something I want to point out to you guys. And again, you can sort of just break the game by just traveling around. Now this is going to be quite difficult, only using firebending as on expert mode they put the little black mag hardest boss fights in the game. It doesn't look too different, but it's because of the platform. Oh my god. There, that's what I wanted. So I killed him. As you see there. And again, there's health here, so you can heal yourself up. God, he's still not dead. And again, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that blue little mist, black hole type stuff hurts you. Where are you? Why is it always a bird? Okay. So there you go, that was this level. Hope you guys enjoyed that part. I'm getting a feeling that whatever is causing the chi blockers to attack again is coming from the spirit world. I have the same feeling. Right when I came to, I saw something. And again, this is how you would collect. Now, the bag on the left that's flashing, on the left on the D-pad, that bag allows me to get more XP faster. So that's another item I recommend you buy when you're trying to get your build your build going. This is another Naga run, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just skip this. Level for you guys. So this cutscene's kind of interesting. You guys might like it. Someone knew I was coming. All right, let's do this. Now, like you guys know, this is the part where you get back your fire bending. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. I didn't even see that. There we go, that was good. Oh, do I want to parry me again? Cora, this might be an opportunity to get your fire bending back. Focus your anger. I forgot. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm new one. Need to tap into the fire inside of me, and I got a lot of that. Right, here we go. I had to be really patient here. And don't forget to always parry. That's always gonna that old man's in the gonna help you out. Then I'm headed to the spirit portal. I can't afford to medicate in. I'm going to need all my bending. How on earth is there no checkpoint here? There is a secret room in here, and I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys before. But it, it's a mini boss fight, and we don't want to see that, do we? Now this, this part is extremely difficult, I'm just going to tell you right now. But firebending makes it a little bit easier as it warps. Yeah, rid of this guy.
never, never like this part. Even when I was doing it the first time. Always hated it. Anyways, this is like the first major, I guess, boss. Do my damage. This is like ridiculous. Let's get out of here and heal a little bit. guys. Okay, come on. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> That's why it's always good in case the game, you know you get hit by something you really couldn't avoid. Like how he doesn't do this until like way later. And then another one. Taking me so long. Sorry about that, guys. That shouldn't have taken that long. So there you have it. Now we're going to go on another Naga ride. But since I already showed you guys what that whole thing is, I'm going to go ahead and actually just skip this. So I hope you guys enjoyed, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and as always, hit the notification bell to see more of my videos.